Hello guys, welcome to an Urban Viking unboxing. Um, this is my uh, monthly, sub not really a subscription, but every month I try and go get a different brewery just so I can explore what's out there. And this uh, this month was a brewery called By the Horns, and uh, I got about I think it came to about forty five quid's worth of beer. So there's a f there's quite a few to talk about. So here's my glasses. I literally, I literally just came in for delivery because the FedEx guy was about to drive off, and uh, luckily I caught him. Um, so anyway, so the first beer on this is the Butter Horns Brewery, and this is their Hop Slinger, which is a West Coast IPA. Comes in at five point nine percent. Where are these guys from? I'm sure they're, oh, they're from Surrey. Um, next one is the social, Two Social Pale Ale, and the reason it's called Two is because I think it's 2% ABV. Yeah, it is. 2% ABV. So yeah, I'm really going to get some strong ones this time. The next one is the Cosmic Warrior, 4.8% Pale Ale. It's quite nice. Uh, this one I like the colour of the can. It looked quite funky. This is their Sky Dust Hazy IPA, which comes in at five point nine percent. This one is their Hopperdelic. I think I've seen this advertised in the supermarket, so I think this one's pretty easy to get. It's a Session IPA, four point three percent. I like their can work. It's quite plain, but I don't know. It's quite not quite nice looking. It's quite catching. Uh, this is their Vibes, which is a session cold IPA, which I think cold is like a where they sort of dry hop it and freeze it or something like that. But it's a new, it's a pretty new style beer. I think I've done one or two cold beers. This is their uh, Vibes session cold IPA, four point five percent. Looking very tropical and sunny. God, I really need to get a decent camera, don't I? Uh, this is their Warped Reverb, which is another IPA, a West Coast. Comes in at 6%. So plenty of different IPAs to choose. Um, bloody hell, I didn't know. What... The thing is, I went on their list, and I think they got in total, in their core range, they got about 15 or 20 beers. So I sort of went... I don't know, I clicked on about 12 or 14 of them. And, um, yeah, this is one of them. It's their Ford Appetite for Destruction. This is their Imperial Stout, which is 8.8%. .8%. So that's a big boy. Uh, what else we got here? This is their Pacific IPA, which is 6%. Obviously, when I um, review these, I'll go into a bit more detail. I just wanted to do an unboxing and show you what, what I've got. And maybe you've tried some of these beers and you can recommend what ones I should try or start with. Uh, this is their 36 Barrels Smoked Amber Ale, which is 5%. I'm not a big fan of smoked beers, but, you know, I've got to try them. That's what they like. I mean, I've had the, the major sort of smoked beer, which is the, a German one. Arsch Schlenker, or something like, I can't remember the name, but it's like a really popular smoked beer amongst reviewers and it just well, it's just too strong for me um this is another imperial stout this is called appetite okay. ah so that's for destruction which is an imperial stout straight up and this is appetite so this is like appetite for destruction and this is a coffee and coconut imperial stout at 8.8 percent .8%. nice one so i'm assuming it's the same recipe and they've just added coconut um this is Crazy Gang Powell, 4.2%. Uh, a couple more. This is their Fruit Box Sour, which is a tropical fruit sour. Lovely. I do love my sours now. And uh, what's this one? Oh, Juicy Pale Owl called Squeezer, which is 4.5%. There's another bag in there. I don't know if it's... Maybe they've given me a bit of glassware or something. I don't know. Um, 
If there's a bottle, I don't remember ordering it. So let's have a look. Oh yeah, I'm a dickhead. This is the main one I wanted. This is their um, by the Horns Brewery Jid Jidpler's Tipple Panatoni Imperial Pastry Stout. I love Panatoni. It's such a Christmassy flavour, um, and I think this is like eleven percent or something. I'll get all the details up when I review it, but yeah, it's a big beer. So there you have it. That is basically the entire stock of their of what, what beers they've got. I think they've got a Pilsner and a, a Lager as well, but I wasn't too fussed about that. So so anyway, there you go. Lots of reviewing to do, and um, see you later. Cheers.